I'm Luke. I've been living in Shenzhen for about six years now. And I am a STEM teacher, I teach all kinds of things, 3D printing, programming, all those kind of subjects. And uh, today we're at the Dongguan School in Shirko, uh, where I teach a 3D printing class. Steamhead is a, a local community makerspace which gives free training to teachers who want to integrate STEM subjects into their classroom. And then I, I saw them doing this work and I thought like I would like to give, give back to the community as well. Thanks to the grant given to us by the Sherco Community Foundation, we're able to bring this 3D printing course to an otherwise underprivileged school to not only teach the kids the software, but be able to print out all of their 3D models so they can really see the connection between the digital and the physical. It's very difficult to learn about 3D printing without actually being able to get the model outside of the computer and physically into your hands. When, we, when I teach 3D printing, like, I, I don't want it to be that we just design something, then we print it out and we just end up with a lot of trinkets. Uh, I always try and go from a perspective of making something that we need. And so we've been looking at making some phone cases, some phone holders, pencil holders, and trying to get the kids to give suggestions of what things they, that could be useful to them in their daily lives. This way we can get them to develop design thinking skills, problem solving, and work on iterative design. Of course we're not going to get everything the first time, so if they can get this into their mind that failure is good, that we can learn things from our mistakes and then improve on them. I think this is probably one of the key things that we can learn from 3D printing. 3D printing also teaches spatial awareness and understanding the concepts of 3D space, which is not only unique to 3D printing. There's many careers in architecture, in new media, uh, game design, that all require these kind of skills. And also like being able to show that the students have actually produced a work themselves that's been 3D printed out. The kids can already start to create a portfolio that really demonstrates what skills they've learned. Nowadays, from, from what I've observed, it seems to be that universities want to test students' abilities, want to really see that they can do what they say they can do. This particular course is just focused on design, but there are many aspects that 3D printing can be used in. If we can see maths concepts displayed in a visual way, then it really helps to get the students thinking about how 3D formulas work. It just livens the maths lesson, right? We're not just doing problems, we're really putting it into a practical application. As a student myself, I always sucked at maths until I started to actually apply it to designing, to drafting, uh, working in my dad's workshop, measuring things and making sure that I got the sizes right, learning those skills uh, by using them in a practical way. We've been working together with the teachers here at Dongguan, particularly Chen Laoshe has been very supportive here and he has a lot of great suggestions of his own. At the end of the day, like as exciting as 3D printing might be, uh, any subject can be taught in a boring way. And we want to avoid that. We want to do it in a way that uh, inspires creativity in the students. And a lot of teachers have realized this a long time ago, a long time ago to really inspire students. They really need to get them working and their brains going. And the, the teachers here in Dongwan, they're really looking for different ways and, and to share their philosophies on teaching uh, and we all come out of it uh, better teachers I think and we can learn from each other.让小孩子有机会去接触这个新的事物
呃孩子。嗯。And why do you teach here? 喜欢这里啊。Yeah. 喜欢这里的学生，喜欢这里的校长、同事，还有整个学校的氛围，我都很喜欢。Yeah. 然后我觉得在这里工作非常的有意义。嗯，我喜欢这里。呃，就是他们也想说把这个学校做好了，因为我们非常，我们的小孩子很可爱，我们的老师非常用功，呃，去呃在这里工作，然后所以他们觉得也应该一起来做好这个事情，嗯、呃，因为我们这些孩子如果没有我们学校的话，可能他们就没有地方去上学了，因为他们很多是一些呃在目前的一些公办学校，可能他们不太符合这个上公办学校的一些条件的，受限制的。所以他们来来这里，我们给了他们一个呃可以上学的机会，另外就是可以让他们留在跟他们父母在一起。嗯、so we are here、uh, at the Sheko Arts and Culture Center、um, in Sea World, and we're setting up the School Maker Fair. And all these students are arriving with their projects, putting stuff up for our big 2 p.m. opening. So we are here at the Dongwan booth.、Uh, these students are setting up their wood press printing area. So they've taken、uh, like PVC board, cut it out, and they're going to invite people to come make their own prints.、Uh, these guys are setting up the 3D modeling area. So the students have printed a bunch of different 3D models、uh, using 1-2-3D design. And now they are here to show other students and attendees of the Nanshan School Maker Fair how to do 3D design. They've also got some surveys to ask people、um, at the Maker Fair, and this is kind of like their empathy step. They want to understand why you're coming to the fair, so that they have some idea of, of who they're talking to and why that person might want to use 3D design. And、uh, here's a technology teacher, Mr. Chen, leading the way. 哦，我们是东湾小学的，东湾小学的学生。今天做什么？今天做 3D 打印建模。为什么？呃，想借想借这个机会介绍给大家，啊、介绍给大家看一下这个课程，是不是？一个人有两个。可以可以，啊。For more content like this, you can subscribe.、Uh, make sure to like us or share out to other teachers. If you use WeChat, I'll post my ID below. You can add me, and in my moments, you can see lots of stuff like this. At Steamhead, we're not just about teaching technology. We're about using technology to make education more relevant. Check out our website at steamhead.space.